Hello everyone, Seraphin here. Welcome back for more Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, as I walk into a Manhunter. Uh, last, when I last left you guys, we found this really neat Icy Sword that, for some reason, is still very effective against underwater enemies. You wouldn't think that a sword made of ice would be good against underwater dwelling creatures, but you would be mistaken. I think it's largely because they are, it's, they're weak to the sword element of it and not the, uh, not the ice per se, but, you know, it still works. Now these things, on the other hand, you'll notice when you see an effect like that, like an elemental effect when you hit a creature, that means, that generally means they're weak to it. Not always, but most of the time. And here we are in more of this underwater reservoir here. We're going to slap the gremlin back on, because there is some enemies down here that I wouldn't mind having souls for. Here's the Cagnazzo, I think what these things are called. Yeah. They're very annoying. They'll hover right over top of your head and then swing down with a trident in your face. That was an Uko back. They leave these little free-floating fire traps lying around, and they're annoying. So I try to kill them as quick as I can. Here's more Cagnazzo here. Thankfully not all that hardy of an enemy. They do curse you, however, by the way, if they hit you with that trident, so that's cool. Um, not altogether a big fan of that. Let's see what's in here. I think it's just a... Oh, it's a save room. Well, why don't we heal up real quick and take the opportunity. And then I'll fry this guy with some lightning, because that's always fun. I could have let that run a little better and gotten more damage off on him, but... Another Uko back there. They don't leave as many fire traps as their... Oh, look, I got the soul. So I can do the same thing with that soul, by the way. I set the little fire traps in the air. Uh, they're equivalent in Symphony of the Night. I think they're just called gremlins in that. Uh, they are much more prolific with their placement of those fire traps than the version in this game. Uh, that was a giant worm. Not altogether very threatening. This is a great place to farm the thing if you wanted to, but I don't need to. Um, I don't remember what it does, as far as the soul is concerned. I don't think it's anything terribly useful, but don't quote me on that. Maybe it's amazing. Who knows? I tend to just remember the important souls, the ones that are really useful. Generally speaking, if I don't remember what it does, it's probably because it was a very lackluster effect, or I just, you know, it wasn't something that I used very often. Let's see what's in here. Oh, here we have another night. Did I show you guys the nightmare already? I don't remember. This is a nightmare. Very cleverly named, I know. Uh, not altogether threatened by my icy attack, it doesn't appear to be, anyway. Um, let's see what's down here, I'm curious now. There's more Unes, remember those. These things actually multiply, you'll notice there, just split off from itself. And if you ignore them for too long, they grow all over the place. Not in a cool way. Oh, look at that, one lightning doll, and there goes the nightmare. Uh, let's see what's over here. Uh, this is a really big room, if I'm not mistaken. Really big underwater room here. Um, I don't... I could have gone underneath back that direction where we came from, but I chose not to. I'm trying to remember what's over there. Could just go look, but I'm kind of keen on going this direction first. And you'll see why once we get there. There's another one of those Mandragora things. I actually got the kill on it that time, the actual thing itself, before it's before it screamed and went off. Slime is not nice. Slime is hardy and will poison you on contact, so I don't recommend getting in the middle of that. Here's some more Medusa heads, like I said, it wouldn't be long before we saw them again. And uh, here comes a very tricky little floating platform situation here. And if I'm not careful... Oh, there he is. We're going to Mr. Arc Demon here, if I'm not mistaken. He's not pleasant. In fact, why don't I deal with him first, since that's going to be the focus of my attention. Ow. Ow. Okay, this is getting a little cluttered now. Take care of him. Alright, there he goes. Yeah, having to deal with a giant arc demon while there's Medusa heads floating around. And the whole point of me being here in the first place is to get on these platforms. Well... It's not altogether all that fun. Oh, I missed it. That platform is very hard to get to if you're not, like, there we go, that'll do it. They don't exactly overlap with one another. Oh, are you kidding me? That was annoying. 
Medusa heads, like I said, just oh, here to make your life miserable, and they excel at that particular endeavor. I hate these stupid things. Thankfully, they don't do much in the way of damage, but still, like, that's really not even the worst problem with them. Here we go, let's try that again, shall we? Alright, that's better. And the, I think the worst thing is, t having them touch you and turn you to stone isn't even the worst part. It's the fact that they knock you back when they turn you into stone. So you go flying off whatever you were standing on, if anything. Like that, for example, and all- oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is just getting ridiculous now. Yeah, you just go completely flying back. Like, what did you touch me with, exactly? Oh, I gotta deal with this guy again. That's cool. Yeah, how about no? We're not going that way right now. So, again, remember I mentioned the difficulty spike? Well, I guess I was not completely uh, coherent in my statement that it got easier from here. It really doesn't. At least not yet. There is one couple of things in particular that are going to make my life a lot easier, but I haven't gotten to them yet. And I also don't even have the souls necessary to get the thing that I want yet. So that's going to be cool. And I really hope I find a save room soon, because I'm looking a little ragged here. Ooh, what do we have here? Armor of Water. I believe I could have bought this back at Hammer's shop, but I didn't. Stronger against water attribute attacks. I think I will take that. And I think I'm going to pop a potion, because... I have to deal with uh, McDemon up there, and I'm not prepared for that yet. So, why don't we deal with that real quick, just because it's better to do it now than get it over with, I guess. I don't have enough mana for my spell. Oh, there we do. Ugh. I'll be very, very happy when I don't have to deal with these things anymore. Apologies if I'm getting exceedingly frustrated. I imagine you probably would too if you saw what these things are doing to me. Or experienced what these things are doing to me. Not saw, I've obviously been seeing this the whole time. And here we go with the not being able to see the platform again. Now we gotta wait for it to walk back around. Dodging all these dumb heads. Oh, pfft. There he goes. Bye, platform. It was nice knowing you. Alright, there we go. Let's go this way this time. How about that? Uh, I think I need Undyne to get up there a little bit. Just a little too high. Yep, that'll do it. This should be a... Yep, teleporter room. I actually am going to make use of this real quick because there is something that I need soul-wise and I have to go... Not... F I guess, yeah, I guess farm it is the proper term. Uh, I need that devil soul. Although, you know what? Curly would be easier. Let's get Curly instead. Curly's easier. So let's go get us a Curly Soul. And this area should be a joke by this point, I imagine. And I don't need Undyne anymore, so I can put my Gremlin back on. Maybe grab a Persephone Soul for my trouble? That would be cool. There we are. Curly, nice to meet you. Oh, they oh, they perfect. They die in one hit, too. Take care of little Mr. Imp here, too, and the Nemesis. We need Curly. Curly is an important soul to have. Hopefully, it won't take me a lot of effort to get one. Guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Ow. These things are really threatening once upon a time now. They just do nothing. It's kind of sad, really. There it is. Curly soul. Perfect. That didn't take long. Now we can head back. I'd like to get to that area that I'm thinking of getting to right here this this episode, but I looking at how things are progressing, that might not be the happening. So apologies for that. Really? I hit one of them but not the other? That seems a little weird, doesn't it? Attack Nemesis one over here as well. Is it this way I came from? Yeah, totally. Persephone. I think we got Valkyrie's soul already, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was just the... No, it was the Partisan that dropped. That's what it was. It wasn't the soul. Kill that Kyoma demon. Persephone's soul is really weird. Alright, let's warp back to where I came from there. We can 
kind of make our way down to... Um, what was that over there again? Was it the night? No, I don't remember anymore. Let's find out. What was on this other side of this area here? I don't remember. I think it was that nightmare, wasn't it? No, it was this. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's here. A dryad. Now, these guys will throw these little apples at you, and the apples, when they hit you, will act like a uh, leech seed from Pokemon. In that, they just kind of hit you repeatedly and drain your life away, which is not any fun. Generally try to avoid those little apple things they throw there. And I get by one anyway. That's cool. Here we are. This is exactly where I need to be, funnily enough. So, you'll see here there is a waterfall here that I cannot get through. And this is the area that uh, Mina slash Articado was referring to, an area that I can get to by crossing through water. You'll see there is a very shiny looking thing on the other side of it, and I want it. So, uh, let's get it. And I have what I need now, so we're going to put on Undyne so I can walk on the water here. That's the important thing. I stand back about yay far. And I have to equip the Curly Soul. And then what this does is transforms you to a giant monster, but also propels you forward. So, if I use that, you fly straight through the water. Just enough. It does it does deactivate upon hitting the water, but you notice it doesn't deactivate right away. And you carry your momentum through. That's how you get through. And uh, that will also work with the Devil Soul, the same concept. And it also works with the Manticore Soul. So if you've gotten any one of those others, then you could have done the same trick there, but Curly was easier, so we did that. And here we get the Eversing. This is one of the best armors in the game. A substantial bonus to defense, 55 to 67, so that's a lot right there. And we're, that already makes me a little hardier and able to more easily take out the things that are coming at me, so I appreciate that. And here we access the Forbidden Area. So this is the area that we were not meant to find, hence why it's the Forbidden Area. Ow. Thankfully now that those little apples are only doing one damage apiece because I got a plus 12 boost to my defense. Here we see Mudman, very cleverly hiding himself on the floor. If you look very carefully, you can't see them, however, like lying in wait. Uh, for example, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see. It's very difficult to see, but you can kind of tell where they are. They don't seamlessly blend in with the ground. Which is good, because otherwise it'd be a big pain. And here we have a gargoyle. Uh, gargoyles are interesting. They're not overly threatening. They're just like the gremlins, basically. However, uh, obtaining the soul of the gargoyle will make you immune to petrification. So I wouldn't mind that, but I don't need it, per se, at this point. And here we get a hidden little switch thing to open. That'll bring us through to another area again. It actually brings us to the other side of that area I couldn't get to in the study before that I had to slide under. Now I can get to it, but here is this shiny ancient book here. And that's, that's really all there is, actually. Although, I'm going to run upstairs and save real quick so I can get some free health back. All the way back in the study. My, how far we've come. It occurs to me that this game really isn't as long as I remember it being. It's, I mean, it depends on if you want to sit and farm everything and explore every little nook and cranny, then it's plenty long. However, I might have I might have misspoke when I said that uh, Metroid Fusion is not as long as this. I think they're going to be about the same length in terms of uh, episode count. And that should also carry us toward the end of Fire Emblem, by the way, if you're watching that. Uh, I know that series is going very long right now. It, it's a long game. It takes a while. So if you're not watching Fire Emblem, I apologize. Uh, you should be. I don't need that, sorry, you don't want fire up if you don't want to. Uh, this is one of the more annoying enemies in the game, the Allura Une, and as you see I just killed it there. Also one of the most annoying souls to farm. Uh, that was a poison worm we just saw there. Poison worm, as its namesake suggests, will poison you on contact. Um, I don't remember what, I think it's, ha I think having its soul makes you immune to poison. But I don't know why you'd want to use that when you can just use the zombie. Which makes you stronger when you're poisoned, as opposed to weaker. It's, it's not only negating the effect, but doubling or er, negating it back or er, turning it back on itself. So, really, that's the better thing to use. Oh, 
Jeez. Get out of here with that. Come on. Stupid harpies, man. I am not a fan of harpies in any context. Any mythological context. Alright, so here we have this crazy looking boat hiding in this forbidden area. Why, is this why it's forbidden? I don't know, but it's here. Uh, we need Skula to traverse the underwater part, the sunken part of the ship. It is obviously a sunken ship. And we're gonna head down here a little bit and find some fish heads, which are just underwater bone pillars, really. There's a killer fish, still no soul. That being said, I just noticed we're a little on time, so we're going to continue the rest of this exploration underwater next time. So, until that time, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will continue this underwater adventure the next time I see you. So, until that time, this has been Seraphin. Stay classy, internets.